Can y'all see anything in this picture? Can you spot what's in the picture? What is going on now? Is that the post office? But it landed here. Look at you pinning those ears back. Cora, Cora. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Crossroads Bison. I want to thank KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. Got an early morning call this morning. Nah, it's not very early. Like 7.15. I'm sitting there editing. My grandma Joy, which is my stepdad Kevin's mom, they have run a show sheep business for several, several years. Well, I used to show sheep. Yeah, in case you didn't know, did. Well, she literally lives like, I don't know, two minutes from me. Uh, which is super convenient. Kevin comes over here every day, takes care of the sheep. Him and my uncle Keith, they've been doing this a long time. Well, every now and then I get to, you know, live out once a year, I get to deliver, help my grandma. She's 87 years old, something like that. And still rocking and rolling. And I mean rocking and rolling. Run circles around us, outwork anybody. Funny, when this morning she called I thought, I was like, man, they've had all their lambs already. Well, it's, uh, we got a U that has a, that has a head stuck in a panel. <laughs> I thought that, well, that's an unusual. I was like, all your lambs, all your U's have lambed. What is going on now? Nope, we got a U with a head stuck in a panel. That gum sheep. Here we go. I think I just noticed something interesting. That you has her head stuck in the hay bale holder. And grandma is over here dealing with a lamb that has a head stuck. Watch her, she'll get over there and get after it. Get that one? <laughs> I hit two stuck in one day. It's a two for one day. Grandma got that one. Pour a lonesome sheep out here. Yeah, so much rain here. See if we can get you back out here. Ah. Maybe come out. Eating? Why are you still eating in the middle of this situation? Well. <laughs> Sheep is rescued. What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty funny, wasn't it? It happens. Hey. Yeah. Bye, sheep. Hi right, guys, you know if you see that big box right there with my skid steer, we're meeting up with Gary Walker from Walker Farm Fam um, out of northeastern Oklahoma, I believe. He's got a crew down here. They're staying at Daniel's place. Daniel called and texted me this morning. He's got some houses to hit, but we're back at it again. Here's the liquor store. There's the skid steer. By the way, this box has been sitting here. Somebody said something to me about it. I've just been parking right here next to it. If you guys want to take a look at it, it's quite a awesome container it's like a shipping container but a, a mini one a short one <clears throat> somebody said something to me about that box I forgot who it was and they said do you know where that came from and i was like i, I don't know is that the post office i'll figure the feet out for you and let you know it but it landed here at this liquor store in town and i'll just say the post office as a crow flies 
It's probably a half a mile, just in my thought. But I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. We're gonna go hit some neighborhoods over here that were damaged and um, clean it up. After the first week, we're back at it. Week two here, Soul for America. We'll go check the bison. We got an explosion of babies. All right, guys, we're back here uh, in this neighborhood on the east side, northeast side of Sulphur. And it is, uh, I keep these in my ears so I can talk on the phone when Marissa or Daniel calls to communicate with me and listen to some music while I'm doing it. But, man, it is just an absolute mess everywhere. I mean, look at this little carport building. This home was hit hard. Doesn't even have the back den. Or, there's a little cross place there, but massive trees it's so sad to see all these being destroyed i don't even know how to explain it. it is just a mess everywhere but we're slowly getting it out we're trying to move all this debris still front of the roads the front of the homes along the road is what we're trying to do and get it piled up so either the state of oklahoma uh department of transportation could come by and pick it up or all these volunteers that we're actually working with uh, Daniel and Gary Walker and his crew, we're all working with these uh, just local volunteers that have dump trucks or local companies and we're working with them. We're pushing everything again to the front and guys, it is just, it is just an absolute mess. It's everything out there. It's so sad. But it's going to take a while for this thing to get cleaned up, but we're, we're working on it. Tag team together. Teamwork goes by fast. Yep. All right, so this is funny. We, uh, this guy came up to us and said, asked us to get it. his safe. Uh, forgive me because my windshield is super dirty, guys. But we got his safe out of the side of his home here. I guess it's a garage area or a carport or something. But we've got a safe. We're going to load it in the back of his truck now. I can't see, so you'll have to guide me. Come down. Right down. I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna let those go. Pull out. I think they got it. Oh boy, got a safe back. Still made it.
We're having a heck of a task with these big old pecan trees. It's so sad. These are big old beautiful pecan trees, but this one is outdoing us. This is the first uh, actual, probably one of the biggest ones we've ran into this week or since we've been starting doing all this, but we're having a tag team it together to get it out here on the street. It's got to go right over there to that pile. <laughs> we're getting down this alley and we are making a mess. I know some of you guys are saying, Dust, you're doing worse. Actually, the road is not in great condition. That's a given. But, but we've got to get out here. Or these people, like I know this guy, uh, they'll never come pick this up in the alley. That's why we got to get it out on the main street. mess this is Dan and I got this knocked out there was a whole bunch of limbs piled up here in the alley well what's wrong with park with piling up in the alley is these some of these companies or the city or the state won't come and get those limbs right now unless they're piled up out here in this massive pile that we've got here so today we got to we help some uh folks out by getting it out of the alleys and also the other benefit to it is we're giving the city we're giving the electric guys the gas guys access to these alleys now by cleaning them out so that's where it is we got it knocked out we're actually in a tornado watch right now but this thing needs a bath bath but got all this cleaned up we're heading out we've got we still got ranching stuff to do we're gonna pick up little girl help her we're gonna ship some meat boxes out uh to some folks that order to buy some meat from us so we'll see you guys in this all right atv's going back to the ranch it's done a good job of serving meals the people that needed it the most headed back to the ranch so green machine thanks flowers heating air for hosting it here it's your nice place Boxes coming to your door. Hey, are you being nice? You are getting a little bit nicer. I say that and look at you pinning those ears back. Cora, Cora. Well, I was gonna tell you guys, some we're doing, since we're doing some name stuff, we got a name for our Bayron here. Hey girl. She's getting used to me slowly she's getting there you got cora back here being a turd cora you be nice hey she's a sweet girl our uh, our girl is named morgan they're getting along but she's being defensive right now aren't you yeah you're just being a little defensive you were here first we know what are you doing cooking some bison meat Got some what? Potatoes? So we got sliced potatoes, sliced yellow squash, got a filet, and a sirloin. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Brooks is over here playing Kiwi Co. Where's the bumblebee at, Brooksy? Uh Ooh. Where was that one at? Do you remember? Ooh, bugs. You love bugs. <gasps> oh, you know, make them look, see, look all over the place like a ladybug. Good job. Keep going. Does mm -hmm. it stick to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is something that we do typically. I don't know, two or three evenings out of the week when you got this view, you gotta soak it up, right? So easy, I can come out here, do my grilling. After a long day of us kind of winding down some, 
we can challenge Brooks here with a Kiwi Co. Summer Adventure Series. What's going on right now? There's so many choices of different challenges and experiences for your kids. For us, we like the outdoor stuff. So we got lots of the outdoor projects. That's, that's what Brooks loves. That's what she's surrounded by. So easy way to get her enthused about something and excited. And we get to both work with her. We get to challenge her, which is fun and exciting because when she's not in school, you got this right here. Whether you can do it at home, you can even take it with you on a vacation, guys, right here, all with KiwiCo. You can have you and your child pick out what kind of adventure series they want to go through, have it shipped right to your door. I know one of the challenges when I was a kid and you're not in school, which kids don't mind being out of school, you got to have that summer break, right? Well, sometimes kids aren't challenged during the summer. Some of them can get actually really bored. Sometimes kids can be stuck inside because their parents are still working a full-time job and you have a babysitter. And, you know, I've been down that road, but with KiwiCo and the Summer Adventure Series and all the projects and all the fun experiences you can have great way to be together spend some family time together and learn something hopefully teach them something too did you beat mom yeah again hmm you look pretty did you do something fun with your child or grandchildren and take a look at kiwi co summer adventure series where you can find all sorts of challenges and fun activities for your child or grandkids use a code across timbers and get your 20 dollars off your summer adventure series Well, we got a whole bunch of rain, but not a lot of push like I thought there would be. Come on, Jackie. Well, I just found the herd. Took me a minute. They're hiding back here being lazy because they got all this grass. Checking for new babies. Christy. What are you doing, girl? No baby yet? No baby yet. If y'all notice anything about this picture can y'all see anything in this picture can you spot what's in the picture thought i heard something behind me licking what in the world are you doing your breast stinks hey what are you licking Hey, somebody's chewing on your tag. Well, I got a little sidetracked. I was actually paying attention to the 54 cow, AKA jumper was next to me to see if you guys could spot what was laying in the grass or spot something in the video. This guy 
I heard some licking going on. Big Joe. But you guys take a look. 54 cal, the jumper. Do you guys see anything in this picture? Oh, that's a cedar. Let's take a look right there. Red dog. Newborn red dog. This is a Wolverine mama, now a mama, had a little old calf. She had a little old heifer calf. This was the cow that was in labor when we moved her. And I was kind of worried about her if it would overstress her. Came out the next day and we got a baby. Did great. Find your little mud pit. Most exciting part about this year hide behind this hay bale it's going to be our biggest calving season ever and uh there's some mamas that are about to pop just by taking a look at them right then and there speaking of babies i told you we'd go back and check on the mama that started to go into labor when we were moving the bison to their grazing unit 
Well, Marissa and Brooks and I pulled up there the next day anxiously, didn't know what we were gonna see. We pulled up, we found the mom. She's a little separated from the herd, not far from them, but we are so excited. We could see the calf hiding in the tall grass and uh, we left him alone and watched him for a little bit and then sure enough, calf popped up and is doing perfectly fine. You could say not the most perfect time to go and labor and have a calf, but you know, you can't control those sort of things and that's okay. The good thing is, is that they were moved to the grazing unit to start the grazing for this year and the calf is perfectly fine and still doing great. So speaking of mothers, I do want to give a Mother's Day shout out to all the mothers out there. Uh, thank you guys for following us along. Thank you uh, for being a mom. I uh, want to say thank you to my mom and happy Mother's Day to her. Wouldn't be where I'm at without my mom, of course. I uh, also want to give a uh, loving and thankful Mother's Day to my wife. Um, I really, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this and have the Ponderosa, the Bison, or our beautiful daughter, Brooks, without Marissa. Thanks to her for... Uh, for being a wonderful, wonderful person and a mother and a beautiful wife to me. Very thankful for her. Much of this right here wouldn't be possible without Marissa and her sacrifices to get us where we are today. I also wanna give a happy Mother's Day to my stepmom, Chris, my mom, Donna, uh, who just recently lost her store at Buffalo Hippie, and then my wife, Brooks and I thank you very much. I want to thank Kiwi Co. again for sponsoring today's video. Can't wait to explore more of the summer adventure series with Kiwi Co. Hi guys, click the link below or go to kiwico.com backslash cross timber summer and you can get your summer adventure series. Don't forget to use the code cross timbers for $20 off your summer adventure series crate. Have some fun with the kids and challenge them too. You guys tell Morgan, huh? She's pretty little, pretty little filly. Thank you guys for watching this day, and we'll see you guys soon. Keep on bossing and ranching.